Enter his gifts with thanksgiving in your hearts. Enter his courts with praise. Enter his gifts with thanksgiving in your hearts. For he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. Jesus has made me glad. Enter his courts with thanksgiving in your hearts. For he has made me glad. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, with your spirit. spirit. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, Lord make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Transcendent God, in whom we live, the resurrection and, and the light, we sing, we sing for, you for you our morning, morning hymn, hymn to end, to end the, the silence of the night. When, when early cock begins to crow, and, and everything from sleep awakes, new life and hope spring up again, while out of darkness color breaks. Creator of all things that are, the measure and the end of all, forgiving God, forget our sins, and hear our prayer before we call. Praise, Praise Father, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, bless Trinity, Trinity and source of grace, who call us out of nothingness to find in you a resting place. Amen. To you, O God, I keep vigil at dawn to look upon your power. Alleluia. To you, O God, I keep vigil at dawn to look upon your power. Alleluia. O God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you, like a dry weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips should speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. To you, O God, I keep vigil at dawn, to look upon your power. Alleluia. To you, O God, I keep vigil at dawn, to look upon your power. Alleluia. The three sang with one voice in the heart of the fire. Blessed be God. Alleluia. The three sang with one voice in the heart of the fire. Blessed be God. Alleluia. O all you works of the Lord, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you angels of the Lord, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, the heavens of the Lord, O bless the Lord. And you, clouds of the sky, O bless the Lord. And you, all armies of the Lord, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, sun and moon, O bless the Lord. And you, the stars of the heavens, O bless the Lord. And you, showers and rain, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, you all goodness of the Lord, Lord, O bless the Lord. And you, fire and heat, O bless the Lord. And you, cold and heat, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, showers and dew, O bless the Lord. And you, frost and cold, O bless the Lord. 
and you frost and snow, O bless the Lord. To Him be highest glory and praise forever. And you night time and day, O bless the Lord. And you darkness and light, O bless the Lord. And you lightning and clouds, O bless the Lord. To Him be highest glory and praise forever. O let the earth bless the Lord. To Him be highest glory and praise forever. And you mountains and hills, O bless the Lord. And you all lands of the earth, O bless the Lord. And you fountains and springs, O bless the Lord. To Him be highest glory and praise forever. And you rivers and seas, O bless the Lord. And you creatures of the sea, O bless the Lord. And you every bird in the sky, O bless the Lord. And you wild beasts and tame, O bless the Lord. To Him be highest glory and praise forever. And you children of men, O bless the Lord. To Him be highest glory and praise forever. O Israel, bless the Lord, O bless the Lord. And you priests of the Lord, O bless the Lord. And you servants of the Lord, O bless the Lord. To Him be highest glory and praise forever. And you spirits and souls of the just, O bless the Lord. And you holy and humble of heart, O bless the Lord. Ananias, Azarias, Misael, O bless the Lord. To Him be highest glory and praise forever. Let us praise the Father, the Son and Holy Spirit. To you, you be highest glory and praise forever. May you be blessed, O Lord, in the heavens. To you be highest glory and praise forever. The three sang with one voice in the heart of the fire. Blessed be God. Alleluia. The three sang with one voice in the heart of the fire. Blessed be God. Alleluia. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Alleluia. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Alleluia. Sing a new song to the Lord. He is praised in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in his maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in His people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained, this honor is for all his faithful. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let Zion's sons exult in their King. Alleluia. Let Zion's sons exalt in their king. Alleluia. A reading from the book of Revelation. Victory to our God, who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. Praise and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and strength to our Lord forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are the Christ, the Son of living God. Have mercy on us. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Have mercy on us. They will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with great power and glory. They will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven 
with great power and glory. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited His people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us the mighty Savior. In the house of David is servant. As He promised by the lips of holy men. Those who are His prophets from of old. A Savior who fears from a foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So His love for our fathers is fulfilled, and His holy covenant remembered. He is so to Abraham our father to grant us. That free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, we might serve Him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in His presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called the prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare His ways before Him, to make known to His people their salvation, through forgiveness of all their sins. The loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. They will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with great power and glory. They will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with great power and glory. Let us pray to Christ the Lord, the Son who enlightens all men, whose light will never fail us. Response, Lord our Saviour, give us life. Lord our Saviour, give, give us life. Lord of the sun and the stars, we thank you for the gift of a new day, and we celebrate the day of the resurrection. Lord our Saviour, give us life. Lead us by your Spirit to do your will. Guide and protect us by your wisdom. Lord, Lord our Saviour, give us life. Bring us to share with joy the Sunday's Eucharist. Nourish us by your word and by your body. Lord our Saviour, give us life. Lord, grant us your gifts, though we are unworthy. With all our hearts, we thank you. Lord our Saviour, give us life. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, give us grace to be joy, because our full and lasting lives a constant service to the author of all that is good. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Lord, 
Spirit is in my heart. He has called me and set me apart. This is what I have to do. What I have to do. He sent me to give the good news to the poor. Tell prisoners that they are prisoners no more. Tell blind people that they can see. And set the downtrodden free. And go tell everyone the news that the kingdom of God has come. And go tell everyone the news that God's kingdom has come. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we are happy to celebrate this Eucharist today. And Sunday is the day of the Lord. It's a day that we keep aside, especially to pay homage 
honor, love and affection to our God. It's the 33rd Sunday of the year and the Holy Father keeps it up as the day of the poor. We have among us the children of Assisi School, especially Abel and the other poor children who are looked after by the Order of St. Francis, sisters, Franciscan sisters. And today we pray for the poor of the world. It's not a good thing to be poor. The poor are always discriminated, marginalized, and perhaps not considered as persons. They are even deprived of their dignity. And today in the Gospel we find that God gives us, rather God gifts us many things, many graces, many talents. How do we make use of them? How do we make use of them at all? That's the message of today. As God gives us, how do we reach out to the others? Let us ask the Lord for a special grace for ourselves and especially for our families in this very special season that is not very good for us. The season of being sick, of being kept in the hospitals of the corona patients, their families, the ones who are taking care of them, let us bring them all to the altar of God. Let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Almighty Father 
Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of good will. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us You take away the sins of the world Receive our prayer You are seated at the right hand of the Father Have mercy on us Glory to God In the highest Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you to the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. An excellent wife who can find. She is far more precious than jewels. The heart of her husband trusts in her, and he will have no lack of gain. She does him good and not harm all the days of her life. She seeks wool and flax and works with willing hands. She puts her hands to the distaff and her hands hold the spindle. She opens her hand to the poor and reaches out her hands to the needy. Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her works praise her in the gates. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response shall be, Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. By the labor of your hands you shall eat. You will be blessed and prosper. Your response? Blessed are those 
who fear the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Your wife like a fruitful vine in the heart of your house. Your children like shoots of the olive around the table. Response. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion. May you see Jerusalem prosper all the days of your life. Response. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Concerning the times and the seasons, brothers, you have no need to have anything written to you, for you yourself are fully aware that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night, while people are saying, there is peace and security. Then sudden destruction will come upon them as labor pains come upon a pregnant woman and they will not escape. But you are not in darkness, brothers, for that day to surprise you like a thief. For you are all children of light children of the day. We are not of the night or of the darkness. So then let us not sleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to you, God. Lord, I stand in the midst of a multitude Of those from every tribe and tongue We are your people Redeemed by your blood Rescued from death by your love There are no words Good enough to thank you there are no words to express my praise But I'll lift up my voice and sing from my heart With all of my strength Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia to the Lamb Alleluia, Alleluia by the blood of Christ we stand Every tongue, every tribe, every people, every land Giving glory, giving honor, giving praise unto the Lamb of God Giving praise unto the Lamb of God The Lord be with you and with your spirit A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew Glory to you, O Lord At that time, Jesus told his disciples this parable It will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted to them his property to one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, 
to each according to his ability. Then he went away. He who had received the five talents went at once and traded with them, and he made five more talents. So also he who had received two talents made two talents more. But he who had received the one talent went and dug in the ground and hid his master's money. Now after a long time, the master of those servants came and settled accounts with them. And when he had received the five talents, came forward, bringing five talents more, saying, Master, you delivered to me five talents. Here, I have made five more talents. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over little. I will say to you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. And he who also who had received two talents came forward saying, Master, you delivered to me two talents. Here, I have made two talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. He also who had received the one talent came forward saying, Master, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you did not sow, and gathering where you have not scattered no seed. So I was afraid, and I went and hid your talent in the ground. Here you have what is yours. But his master answered him, You wicked and slothful servant, you knew that I reap where I have not sown, and gather where I scattered no seed. Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers, and at my coming I should have received with them with the interest. So take the talent from him and give it to him who has ten talents. For to everyone who has will more be given, and he who have will be more abundance. But for the one who has not, even he will be taken away what he has, and cast the worthless servant into the outer darkness. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, and my dear children who have come here today for this Eucharist, as I said, God has blessed us with another Sunday, and Sunday is God's gift to us. Bible says, God created the whole world and rested on Sunday, and Sunday is called the Day of the Lord. Dies Domini, we call it in Latin, to say that this day is reserved for the Lord. It is not reserved for me, it's not reserved for anybody else, but it's reserved for the Lord. So much so, not only we pray homage, respect, glory, and adoration to God, we also do not depend on our food and our fruits, as it were, and our earnings on our work, and that's so the command the commandment says, do not work on Sunday. Perhaps some people may ask, what is the big thing about it? Why we should not be working on a Sunday? If we work on a Sunday, we can produce a little more, we can have more income and use it. Not necessarily. If you have trust in God, that God can take care of you one day in the week without you having to bother yourself, without your having be tensed up in order to do work and labor, and there are people who are working day and night, Monday to Sunday, constantly, as if everything depends on them. 
nothing depends on god it depends on me we see so that is why the sunday is called the day of the lord especially reserved for the lord so that we can trust in him and he can surely take care of us you know that beautiful sayings of the gospel of matthew chapter 5 it says that if god can take care of those sparrows that are flying so beautifully from tree to tree place to place if god can decorate those flowers of the of the fields that look more beautiful than all the garden flowers could god not take care of you we have to only trust in him so in this background perhaps today's day celebration of the eucharist of the liturgy of the readings takes a special sort of setting as i told you the 33rd sunday that's today day before the feast of the christ the king next sunday is the feast of the christ the king and today number wise is the 33rd sunday and holy father since about 3 4 years he keeps it up as the day reserved for the poor the day of the poor it's very noble of him to have thought of the poor the world celebrates the good things the world celebrates big things but who thinks of the poor who thinks of the suffering who thinks of the sick and therefore the pope makes a special reminder in his diary the diary of the world to say that at least one day let us think of the poor pray for the poor and join with the poor in them symbolically we have in front of us the children of the cc school the specially able and the poor children who are being looked after by the franciscan sisters who are also here with us and in a way this small group of these children represent the whole archdiocese the archdiocese and poor is it were that come before the altar and i pray for all of them today the theme that holy father has given is stretch out your hands to the poor a small quotation from the book of sirach chapter 7 verse 32 which says stretch out your hand to the poor before that let me go to this beautiful readings that we have today the gospel as you know speaks about the talents about that landlord who gave talents to his three chosen servants and they were supposed to come back after a year or so and he asks them the account and each of them gives an account the one who has done five he says sir i have done another five more the one who was given two he says i have another two more to give it to you but the one that who had one he says i am sorry i was very scared i didn't want to take a risk therefore i buried it so what's the meaning of this for us today on this sunday as you see there are three parts for it the first one is the talent given by the landlord the second is it is given and taken back in an increased or augmented manner and the third is that one talent which is hidden what is the meaning of this first of all the talent that god that the landlord gives you know in the jewish tradition or the jewish economy the talent is like a like a biscuit a gold biscuit or a silver biscuit that was kept for them to say that i have so much stock of these biscuits which will perhaps in my emergency in my poverty i can make use of them people didn't take talents to the bazaar to say to buy vegetable to buy they didn't give the talents they gave coins they gave perhaps certain other small sort of things but not the talent which means talent was a very heavy thing and the talent means you have to carry a special bag because it was a heavy talent so you can imagine a gold bar or a gold biscuit or a silver biscuit with you which is very very important and so this landlord gives not just some coins to these people but he gives them these gold as it were the biscuits in order the talents in order to make money and one talent me meant lakhs of rupees lakhs of rupees and therefore it was given to them what do we think of this god gives us talents and what is god's talents for us is it gold biscuits that he gives us or perhaps uh, the silver 
uh, bars that he gives us perhaps yes sometimes maybe but many a time it means it's the physical or material talents or spiritual wealth that he gives us our physically maybe god has given us a certain talent we see nelson there beautifully singing and perhaps god has blessed him with a beautiful voice and this one someone of us perhaps they can dance they can do maybe we can call these talents yes we could call them a talent someone is exceptionally intelligent that is also a talent someone is perhaps has got a gift of the gab we call it you can speak make speeches as it were that's a talent but god doesn't speak only of those talents god also speaks today of the spiritual talents which you can't see which you can't quantify which you can't say that this size or this size and what are the spiritual talents god gives us the aspect of mercy the aspect of compassion the aspect of charity benevolence generosity which god gives us and when god gives us perhaps the as we know the religious the franciscans the clericians are here each of them is given a special charism we call it a charism and this charism cannot be bought or sold or accounted you can't have a audit of these things that is something which is very special and precious for us and god gives everybody everybody can anyone say that i have received nothing from god i have got no talents at all i don't think so it's only that we have not seen it we have not discovered it perhaps many of our talents are buried like those that one talent which was buried inside we don't want to open it we are scared we are this one but god does give in fact there's a beautiful saying that says god gives and forgives man gets and forgets god gives and keeps on giving he doesn't keep a count of his givings he perhaps he just sort of doesn't wait us wait for us to come and thank him we had that beautiful gospel of the 10 lepers and nine forgot about it and the only one samaritan comes back to thank god so god gives and also forgives he doesn't keep the count of our sins but man gets and keeps on forgetting keeps on forgetting the secondly the multiplication or the increase of these talents the five may becomes 10 sorry another five the two another two he shows and the third one of course he keeps what does it mean this multiplication or increasing god has given us a lot of graces god has given us energy in order to produce more and more and to give god you can imagine that when this man who has five talents comes back with five more the master doesn't say you have done well now you take those five and go and enjoy no you give back you give back these are not wages your wages are separate they are given every day daily wages or monthly wages they are given separately but the talents are something of a, a wealth that has been created and so the master takes it back what does it mean to us we are also asked to multiply and increase but not for our sake not for ourselves if that was the case there was no meaning of this this talent and this parable to say that we can make more and more profits it is always for the other it is always for the sake of the society it is always for the sake of humanity so therefore this talent increasing or multiplying is not for ourselves perhaps here fits in the pope's idea of the poor of reaching out to the poor as a theme says sirach 732 says stretch out your hand to the poor what does it mean stretch you can't hold yourself and say i'm stretching my hand the hand has to go forward the hand has to go towards the poor the ones who are needy it has to go so that's the mind of the holy father to say that we have to stretch out we have to strain ourselves in order to produce these things for the sake of the poor the holy father in his very first year when he became pope in that year there was a big sort of a uh, a scare in italy that many of these migrants 
from Africa who were thrown out of their countries, who were starving, who were trying to migrate to Italy through the boats because there was, they could not afford the flights, they could not afford the other things, and Italian government was not taking them at all. But then they risked their life by getting into a boat. How many of them? A, bo a boat that was meant for 40 people, 400 people got into it, and they said, we die in our country, we die in the sea. It's the same thing for us, we have to die somewhere. And they took a risk. Unfortunately, the whole boat sank, and all of them died in the sea. And there was a lot of news in the paper. And what the Holy Father does, Pope Francis personally goes to that place called Lampadusca in South Italy, in the seas. It's a sort of an island. And he offers a special mass for these 400 people, he says, who don't mean anything to them. They don't mean anything to their country where they are thrown out. They don't mean anything to Italy who don't want to receive them either because they're a burden. And he says, I have a, my heart for them. And that is how his idea of the poor sort of generates and increases. And today, the beautiful saying, stretch out your hand to the poor. Multiply your talents, multiply your gifts, multiply your monies, your energies. Make use of it as much as you can, till you can. Perhaps there's a time when you would like to give, but you won't be able. Your hands can be stretched. They are paralyzed. You can't stretch out your hands. A time may come that you may wait and say that I will do this much and that much and then be generous to the poor. God will not give you a chance. God will never give a chance. Many of our people are feeling it already. We didn't do it when we could and now we are not able. Perhaps a time will come for us. Thirdly, the one talent that is hidden. What's the meaning of this? Many of us hide our talents. We don't want to take a risk for the sake of the other. We want to see that if they come, if I give, what will happen to me? Who will look after me? Who will this one? Everything of this sort. We have a lot of logic to say that we don't want to reach out to the poor. We have among us the rich who say that it's not enough for us. We have the perhaps even the priest and religious to say that we have to get more and more. We can't be open to the poor. If we give free ship, if we give sort of concession to the poor, what will happen to our institutions? Today, what's going to happen? The corona has come, and for those who had, whom we had reserved your schools, institutions, and the others, you can't even open it out. Can't even open it. Children are not coming back. And perhaps this is a way of saying that it doesn't depend on you. It does not depend on you. And therefore, many of us, perhaps, we bury that talent. We don't want to use it. And as the answer that is given to this master, he says, Master, I was afraid of you, that you reap where you are not sown. You would extract what you are not done. And therefore, I thought best is to come and give back to you this talent. I didn't want to take a risk. Many of us are doing that. Many of us are doing that. We don't want to take a risk. And we see the, the strong words of this master who says that, go out of me. I don't want you. Not only you will lose this talent, you lose all that I have given to you. And that could happen to us. It could happen also to the ones against us. We parents, many of us, we don't want to recognize the talents of our children. We have got a set mind. My son is going to be a, a doctor. Whether he has learned or not, whether he wants or not, I want him to be a doctor. I want him to be an engineer. I want him to be a professor. These are the ideas we have. You know, I'm reminded of a small story of a farmer and a farmer's son who went to the school. Unfortunately, he was not too good in studies, but he used to fiddle, prepare this, prepare that, prepare a stick, sharpen it, all the small things he used to do. And his father used to shout at him every time to say that, I have sent you to school, you know, to study, etc. Ta -ta -ta. And so one day it happened when the father was plowing the fields. When he was ploughing, suddenly his plough dug up one small sort of a st statue or a doll that was nicely prepared. He carried it home. He called his family members and said, see such a beautiful doll. And I found it in my field. Who must be the one? Who must be the good one? Such a talented one. And the son has tears in his eyes and says, dad, I only did it. 
and I put it there because you don't want it in the house, you don't appreciate, you throw out my things, you want to this, this one. And the father realizes what he has done. Perhaps many of us are like this. We don't want our children to come up. We don't want those that perhaps entrusted to us, we don't want them to come up. We don't want our family members. We are always critical and super hypercritical because we have certain set things in our mind. We don't allow the flower to bloom as it is. We want to trim it as much as possible that it looks and blooms as I want it, as I want it. So my dear brothers and sisters, I leave these thoughts before you. First of all, God has given us talents. God has given us graces. God has given us immense potentiality. And not only for those who are able, even for those who are specially able, God has given them special talents. Secondly, God has given us talents in order to develop and also to utilize for the others, especially for those who are poor and needy. Stretch out your hand to the poor, the Holy Father says to today's theme for the poor. And therefore, let us ask the Lord for His grace that we also learn to stretch out, to accommodate, not to think of ourselves, but as much of the others, because ultimately the others will fulfill what we have in mind. And thirdly, never to sort of sink in or to bury our talents and not to allow the others also to give as much due, as much dignity, as much appreciation to the others that is due. I pray very specially, and I, I'm, I know that I, we can't do much for the poor. Though I have been talking also, it's very limited that we do. But then today, as I remember and offer the, all the poor of the archdiocese, the marginalized, those who are not able, those who are specially able, those that are perhaps cannot express their request for poverty in their sickness, in their death, we all bring them to the altar today. And we pray specially for all those commissions, all the priests and religious of our diocese, all the lay faithful who are taking care of the poor in a very special way. Please stand. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, to him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and, and by, by the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary, Mary and, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius, Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. I believe in him will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, as we are gathered together as one family, let us ask God's grace of understanding and wisdom to respond to his will and live as children of light. Your response shall be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our Holy Catholic Church, Pope Francis, our Archbishop, Peter Machado, all the priests and religious, that they may be granted abundant graces to guide your Holy Church in truth and in love, so that people of all abilities 
may be lovingly supported in living out their Christian calling to serve the community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all differently able children and their families that they may be given the necessary supports and opportunities for growth and development before and after birth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord of all, we lift up parents and caregivers of children with disabilities. Refresh them, give them enough strength to press on each day, lead them to economic opportunities to provide each member with the resources to survive. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Lord of holiness, with the grateful hearts, we thank you for this special mass arranged by the Archdiocesan Commission for the Differently Abled under the guidance of our beloved Archbishop. Bless them from your abundance and give them the grace to discharge all their services fruitfully. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Lord of eternal life, we pray for all the faithful departed, especially all those who departed during this pandemic. Lord, may your perpetual light shine upon them and their earthly imperfections be mercifully pardoned. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. God of mercies and love, we are little children, please, some of our prayers and petitions. Grant them if they are in accordance with your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. What can I give? What can I bring? That would be pleasing to my King. I'll give my heart. Not just a part I'm sifting up my everything Well, it's all I have to offer And it's all I have to give Two hands, one heart, one life to offer you Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being, and while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. 
For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, the hope of an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Fount of all holiness, make holy the for his gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them that you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior. Of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, save the Savior of the world, for by your cross. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to the elders worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Peter Machado, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to deceive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, please come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you now as you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. At all times I will bless Him 
His praise will be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. The humble man will hear of Him. The afflicted will be glad and join with me to magnify the Lord. Let us exalt His name together forever. I sought the Lord, He heard me and delivered me from my fears. Let us exalt His name together forever. Oh, sing His praises, magnify the Lord. Come children now and hear of Him. If you would seek long life, just keep your lips from wickedness and lies. Do good and turn from evil, seek peace instead of strife. Love righteousness and God will hear your voice. Let us exalt His name together. I sought the Lord, He heard me and delivered me from my fears. Let us exalt His name together forever. Oh, sing His praises, magnify the Lord. Oh, sing His praises, magnify the Lord. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in the memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads as we pray for God's blessings. May Almighty God bless you in his kindness and pour out the saving wisdom upon you. Amen. Amen. May he nourish you always with the teachings of faith and make you persevere in holy deeds. Amen. Amen. May he turn your steps towards himself and show you the path of charity and peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Please be seated for some announcements. My dear brothers and sisters, I wish you a very happy Sunday, the 33rd Sunday of the year. And as I said, we commemorate or keep up the Day of the Poor in our Archdiocese. And here it is symbolized with this small group of children that have come from Assisi School and looked after by the Franciscan Sisters. And our specially abled commission, Father George Kanaladan, and also Mrs. Estella de Souza are in charge of this commission. They have taken a lot of care and difficulties in order to bring the children and also do many other acts of charity in our diocese. The tradition fathers, Father Manawat is here and Father Mario and the chameleon fathers and many other congregations are doing many for the many things for our specially abled and the sick, etc. The, the Claritian Fathers have a, in Sumanali, they have what's called the Leprosy Center, Leprosy House, and the Chameleon Fathers also have in Karmalaram, looking after the specially able children of different needs. And so we request your appreciation and also generosity to the extent possible for these are commissions which are doing for the poor. As Mother Teresa would say, 
there is more joy in giving than in receiving. May we always continuously reach out to the poor and stretch out our hands to the poor. The next Sunday is the Feast of Christ the King. In fact, the Holy Father has kept this Sunday previous to Christ the King as a day of the poor because the poor are also in some way dignified and they are kings and queens. Christ the King with all his glory is the same Christ that we look in the poor. There is no difference and that is why the Holy Father has this meaning to say that the Christ the King feast is as good as could be appropriated by all the poor as their feast. We have told you in the past about our mission Sunday collections which were not possible and we have postponed the mission Sunday celebration itself in the month of January hoping that it will relax a little more for the people to come and participate. For the time being on the online we have what's called Missio Ludos. Ludos means games or competitions of different type for which we will uh, tell the people to register and they will also be categorized in different groups and competitions and there is a small donation that they have to give which will be credited to our Mission Sunday account. Today is the last day of the registration for Monsieur Ludos and you will find the placards. You can register till evening today for all, for perhaps for the singing, dancing and the other competitions that are there. <coughs> our Advent season starts on 29th of November. That's the last Sunday of November and first Sunday of the Lent, sorry, Advent. And we wish to begin online catechism for our children on that day. It will be systematic. Every parish priest will take charge of his children and direct them to these online catechisms which they have to participate and respond with a worksheet after which we will also evaluate and those that are having first communion and confirmation will also have special classes online so that you can follow it up and also give your attendance to say that we have attended these many classes naturally we will also give you a chance to participate in communion and confirmation those who do not want to do it surely will not be given confirmation and communion <coughs> As you are aware, we are not able to reach out to the people physically. We have been using this media, multimedia, with our online YouTube, etc. And so the ACC, the Archdiocesan Communication Center, requests your support for a multimedia studio that we wish to establish here so that we can give more and more output to the people through our media, since it is not possible to reach out physically. We request your support for our multimedia studio. On the, on the online, YouTube is also going on these days, Retreat in Canada, Kutumba Navikarana Dhyanakuta. The Navikarana is the renewal of the families, and this is the Canada teachings that are taking place every day, and today is the last day at 6.30 in the evening. So I make a request that we also participate in this request. All of us understand Canada, and so it'll help our families because we have good speakers and good charismatic movement that carries it on. Canonical question and answer series with 12 videos starting from mo mo Monday, November 16th, November, will be there. So kindly do not miss, see the promo on the, on the media. Advent and Christmas season, we are planning for exciting devotional and spiritual entertainment programs. I do not know how many of the carol singers can come to your house this year. Perhaps it's not possible, you will not welcome them. But then at least on the media, on the YouTube, if you can have the different parish groups or different groups that can perform on the screen and give you joy, that would be also a nice thing. So therefore stay tuned and subscribe to, your, to our YouTube channel to get regular updates. 
I wish you once again a very happy Sunday. We are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord, we are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord, and we pray that all unity may one day be restored, and they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love, yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. That God is in our land And they'll know we are Christians By our love, by our love Yes, they'll know we are Christians By our love Yes, they'll know we are Christians By our love